It's a method of dividing fractions which we can call the rebound method. It's very easy to memorize because you just need to remember a cross multiplication and a rebound. Even though this is a division, we only need to cross multiply. Starting from this times this, you're going to put the result up here and then you multiply the other diagonal but you're going to put the result down here. Multiplying 9 times 3 is 27 and 5 times 2 is 10. This is the answer, but if you want a mixed number, 10 goes twice into 27, leaving a remainder of 7, giving 2 holes and 7 tenths. When we use mixed numbers in division, we need to convert them to improper fractions, as we did in a previous example. We multiply the denominator by the whole number, then add it to the numerator. So we have 7 thirds divided by minus 5 half. Before doing this procedure, multiply the signs. So plus times minus equals minus, and 7 times 2 is 14, which we put it up. Then 3 times 5 gives 15, and we put it down. These are consecutive numbers, which cannot be reduced, so they are irreducible numbers, and the exercise is done. Summarizing, first we convert it to mixed numbers, then into improper fraction. Then we multiply using the cross method. Keep in mind that a division which can be written as 6 divided by 4 also can be written as 6 quarters. So if you have two fractions, for example, 5 quarters divided by a half, this is a fraction and this is another one. So it can be written as, which is the same idea as when we have holes. Thus, fractions can be written in this way or can be represented in this another way. If we remember the cross multiplying procedure, multiplying 5 times 2 and the result going up, so 5 times 2 equals 10, and 4 times 1, the result will go down, multiplying 4 times 1 equals 4. Then when we have a problem like this one, we know that outside numbers are multiplying and go up, and inside numbers are multiplying and go down. But if we forgot whether the outside numbers go up or down, I suggest you write it in this way before putting it over the other fraction. I think this rebound method will be very easy to remember, but this product goes down and this one goes up. We are going to assume that it is solved. Here just simplify the fraction, dividing both top and bottom by 2 and we get a simplified improper fraction. We get 2 and a half. Sometimes we have this kind of exercise. This is a division of operations with fractions in the top and bottom. Then it is as if there were two operations and the results just need to be divided so you solve the top and bottom and get the result for each then divide. It is an addition with different denominators as there are two we can use the cross method for addition 5 times 8 is 40 then 5 times 2 is 10 as it is addition we put plus here 8 times 3 is 24. Well, we did the top part. In the bottom, there is a multiplication, so we need to multiply all numerators and all denominators. 5 times 1 is 5. 4 times 10 is 40. As you can see, the top operation is independent of the bottom one. Here, coincidentally, both denominators were 40, but it doesn't mean that you always will get the same denominator. This is going to be 34 over 40 divided by 5 over 40, then as we said, we were going to multiply 40 times 5 and the result put it down, so here will be 200. And if we multiply 34 times 40, it goes up, that is a 1360. If the top and the bottom of the fraction both have a zero in the last digit, it can be cancelled, so it is better use 136 over 20, and if we had more zeros, just cancel them. That is a little tip. If we want to further simplify, then divide each by two and continue until you can't go any further. We're almost done, but let us simplify the result as much as possible. Dividing 136 by 2 is 68, and 20 divided by 2 is 10. Then 68 divided by 2 is 34, and here is a 5, which is a prime number. So how many times does 5 go into 34? The answer is going to be 6 holes and 4 fifths. 
and this is the final answer in conclusion when you have such operation don't be afraid just solve the top and bottom part as independent operation make the division and simplify the fraction if needed